Hello everybody, Hamp Thomas here, and today I want to talk to you about exterior dimensions from interior measurements. So what do we do with that? When I ask a lot of people this question, they say, oh, I always follow ANSI. Well, guess what? ANSI doesn't give us any guidelines on this measurement. You got a one and a half story house and you get to the exterior wall and you can take a measurement you know, up to the drywall or the sheetrock. How much do you add for the width of that exterior wall? Well, now, if you can open a window or look out the window, you know, and you can, you know, if it's vinyl siding, brick veneer, whatever the case may be, and you know, you can estimate or guesstimate what the width should be. And that's what a lot of people do. But when people tell me that they're following the ANSI rules on that, I know they haven't read all of ANSI because ANSI doesn't give us a rule on that. Should they? I think they should, but they don't. And a lot of people, I've been teaching, you know, how to measure that or take that dimension for the last 10 years. I said, well, where do you get the number from? Well, when I first started, when I first became appraiser many years ago, I started asking that question, you know, and looking for something in writing. Well, the only thing I found in writing was from the North Carolina Real Estate Commission and their residential square footage guideline. And it tells us to add six inches or five tenths for exterior dimensions. You know, we have all this great new technology coming and you know, these phone apps that tell us they're following ANSI, well, what do they add for that exterior dimension when ANSI doesn't tell them what to do. You know, what do we do on that? How do we disclose in our reports where we got that dimension from? So when I was back starting this and found all, you know, the North Carolina, I couldn't find anything else. So I started sending out those little polls that everybody dislikes, you know, and some people would answer one, some people would answer another. And I actually did that for 10 years before I got enough answers, you know, to really form a consensus on there. And it was real simple. It was all the same thing. Everybody, pretty much all appraisers that I polled, it, they add five tenths or six inches for that exterior wall unless, you know, they can come up with a dimension that they're pretty sure about. So at, that's why when I wrote the American Measurement Standard, you know, to give us a choice between ANSI for, for those people that learn to measure stairs on only one floor instead of two, I put that in the American Measurement Standard. So now we have at least two sources that we can quote of how we came up with that measurement. So if somebody asks you where you came up with that measurement, you know, for that exterior wall, you can quote the North Carolina Real Estate Commission, or you can quote the AMS, you know, you can, or you can put them both in there for that matter. But that, to my knowledge, those are the only written sources that give us an idea. And since we've been teaching that for at least 10 years, 10 or 12 years, in our classes, you know, that's what we've been doing. And, you know, just telling people that it comes from appraiser polls, it comes from the American Measurement Standard, and it comes from the North Carolina Real Estate Commission square footage guidelines. So just, if you have a question about that, if you can't, you know, determine what the exterior dimension should be, use the five tenths or six inches. And what's the purpose of that? consistency guys the whole point of a standard at all is we want to be consistent in our measurements and using five tenths or six inches gives us that consistency when we measure upper levels you know one and a half story homes so if you want to be consistent and you want to know where you got the information from those are the sources you can use and i hope we'll all be consistent as well as this new lidar technology and measuring upper levels, the exterior dimensions from interior measurements. Thanks for watching, guys.